not only God gives us redemption not only we see that Jesus is the one who wants to help us not only we only see the devil wants to attack us but God teaches us a very powerful lesson from this verse and the lesson is this whatever you have left is more than what you've lost what God wants to teach us today is this is that whatever you have left today is so much more than what you have lost you know I came across the story of our president we had president Abraham Lincoln and if you check Abraham Lincoln at the age of 21 he failed his first business at the age of 22 he was defeated in a legislative race in the age of 24 he failed again in the business at the age of 26 overcame death of his sweetheart at the age of 27 had a nervous breakdown which explains at the age of 34 he had a congressional race and he lost it at the age of 36 he lost another congressional uh, race at the age of 45 he lost a senator race at the age of 47 he failed in an effort to become a vice president at the age of 47 he lost a senatorial race and at the age of 52 he became a president you read that and you're like this guy definitely has a big curse on his life I mean anything he picks up it fails it fails it fails it's either people die around him and you know most of us don't know this story we know the man who brought the changes in our country we know a man who was a great president we know a man who was a revolutionary movies are made about him books are written about him people today honor him and respect him but you have to understand this is the man who at the age of 52 had to realize is my life just two bones and an ear can God take this that is left 52 only fail 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 can God do something with this and listen shepherd can do something with that Maybe no one else can do it but God can. You know a golf, a golf club in my hands is just a stick. In Tiger Woods hands it's not a stick. It's a tool to win championships. A basketball in my hands it's a brick. In the hands of Michael Jordan it made him in who he is that everybody knows about him in the world. And that's how it is with two bones and piece of an ear in my hands it's just the remaining of somebody's really really bad luck and you bury it and you say you know what I'm sorry for what happened to you but when those two bones and an ear goes in the hands of Jesus he can make a masterpiece out of it he can create a change out of it can somebody say amen we look at the life named Moses where Moses at the age of 80 80 is the time where you plan for your exit you plan to die you prepare your family you you get a life insurance at the age of 80 40 years he was in a palace 40 years in the wilderness running from his past and you would think life is lost but see when you bring your two bones and an ear and you feel like you've lost everything to someone who is a shepherd he takes those two bones and an ear as he did with Moses and he said Moses you feel like you come to an end you feel like it's over Moses actually I'm about to start and Moses movie tv series will be written books will be written sermons will be preached when you thought your life was over from that point on you will bring such a change that a nation that will become the center of earth's conflict will be born because of what I'm going to do through your life my friends God is not done with you God has a plan and a purpose for you this is what I want you to remember God will use what you have to give you what you need. God will use what you have to give you what you need. When God created human body, he used the dirt. He didn't ship man through FedEx or UPS. He didn't form him in heaven out of the material in heaven. God used the dirt. When man was made, God wanted to make a woman. God didn't use the dirt again. He went and took what man had to create what man needed he used his bone we see later on when a woman comes to Elisha's and says Elisha my husband died he left so much dead and we have just this big problem could you help us I think this woman secretly was hoping that Elisha will write her a fat check because that's what people do today when they come to church with financial needs nobody's expecting for the pastor to give them a business idea everybody's expecting to give him a check you're coming to a prophet you know he's loaded 
you know he's connected to the kings and so she's coming says listen he was a prophet he was with you he had a lot of debt he didn't help the family help me out and the prophet asked her this ridiculous question what do you have in your house and if I would be her I would answer didn't you hear me debt but he says what do you have in your house she says I don't have nothing except a little bit of oil and the prophet said God will use what you have to give you what you need God is not going to do something from heaven he's going to use what you have to give you what you need and that little bit of oil why does God do that because God is not interested in just meeting our needs he is interested in growing a partnership with us in developing within us a relationship and God supplied her needs by what she had we see same thing with Jesus when they needed to feed a lot of people and disciples came to Jesus and said Jesus we don't have anything to feed these people with and Jesus says what do you guys have and they said this we don't have anything but five loaves and two fish maybe that's how you feel today I don't have anything but it's what you have after but is what God wants to use